Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Janet Yong, and in my channel, I share about feng shui, ba zi, entrepreneurship, as well as personal growth, especially in the areas of success, motivation, and communication. In today's episode, I will still be talking about ba zi and giving you three tips on how you can read your ba zi chart. So without further ado, let's move on to the next segment where I'll share more. As usual, before we start, please remember to download your ba zi chart from ba zi calculator.janetyong.com or scan this QR code here to get your ba zi chart before we begin. As mentioned earlier on, today we are going to look at what are the three steps to read your ba zi chart or the three tips of how you should be looking at your ba zi chart. And the first step would be to identify your day master. Why this is the case? Well, when we're looking at our ba zi chart, it's really what we call self-awareness and our perception of the world. So before we even look at how we perceive the world, the number one most important thing, of course, is to understand yourself first. And the first thing to look at is the day master. Day master, as shown here, is basically the character that's under the day pillar marked in red rectangle at the heavenly stem. In this case, is what we call Yang Wood or Jia. Now here, basically, it tells you about your intrinsic characteristics, what you're motivated and therefore your inherent talent. In today's video, I will not go into details about each of the day master because you can basically click on this link to understand the different day masters in my Ba Zi series or in the Asian personality profiling system series itself. After understanding your day master, what you like to do, what you don't like to do, then what next? The next step then is really looking at the month that you are born in. Why do we do that? Because number one, it helps us determine the strength of our chart, which will also tell us our favorable elements, favorable industries, and our likely characteristics. And if you have missed my video on what's your part's favorable element, you can click on this video itself to watch it later on. After determining the strength of your chart, which will give you a bit of insight as to how you view the world, whether you are generally a lot more stronger in terms of characteristics or you usually can work with other people. The next then is you can also utilize the month to, to identify your orientation or structure. Now this then tells you a little bit more about the kind of work environment that you enjoy working in, what are your motivations as well as inherent talent. Similarly, it's actually shown in this particular example of the red rectangle and for this person is DR which is the analysis orientation or analyzer profile. Again, I will not go into details of each of the individual orientation and profiles because I've done it in the Ba Zi series as well as the Asian Personality Profiling System series to go to these two playlists and go through once you understand which profile you are born in. Now, the next thing that is very crucial for us to look at once we have better awareness of ourselves, our characteristics, then is to really look at the focus area. Now, there are many, many things to look at in a traditional Ba Zi chart. So if you try and look at all the elements, it can be very, very confusing. So it's always good to just go deeper and look at what is the focus area. If you are trying to read a chart for your family member, your friend, it's also the same thing. What is the question that you are trying to answer? So when you understand which area that you are looking at, then you can dive deeper and look at the various different areas that you are trying to investigate. So we can be looking at the Barzi chart to understand career, to understand wealth, to understand relationship, to understand health, 
and for a lot of parents when I do the charts for their children they also would like to know how their children learn are they motivated in studies these are the few focus areas that most times I read the chart for my clients in today's episode I will go on to touch about career so that it will not overwhelm you and in future other episodes I'll talk about wealth relationship health and children when we're looking at investigating it from a career perspective i think i covered in quite a few of the episodes like the episode about what psychic you can start as well as last week where i show you how i utilize the chart to help me in my personal growth career and business growth as well so understanding your intrinsic personality will help you in making the right kind of decisions that so that you'll be happier in the longer term the next is we will then look at what are the luck cycle influences that come into our chart so that we can pick up the right kind of skill sets and a lot of times when we are looking at the luck cycle whether the person is really career minded most times we look at whether the person is process has the process orientation profiles like the direct officer or diplomat profile or the seven killings or warrior profile the next we look at is the direct wealth dw or the director profile or iw indirect wealth or pioneer profile now why is this the case well traditionally in working with an organization because there's rules and regulations so following processes is one important thing especially if you are looking at working with people and if you are looking at direct wealth and indirect wealth if you remember these are the two action oriented profiles therefore it involves implementation so when you're working for someone unless you're a researcher it's usually about following processes and then implementing things so that's traditionally how Zi is read we look at do 7k dw and iw now when we look at a change of career a lot of times the reason why we change jobs two things one there's a pull factor two there's a push factor so when we look at pull and push factors it's really about our perception right whether are we happy usually if we're happy we will stay in the job but if there is a headhunter that call you which is then the pull factor you'll look at whether there are additional opportunities that you can tap on now the push factor is usually because we're unhappy at work i'm happy with our bosses because there are changes in the environment or unhappy with the colleagues or having trouble managing your subordinates or not motivated by being in a leader's role that's why you will start to look outside or there will be a change of job and this is usually caused by a clash combination or punishment in your chart for today i will basically go a little simpler because i'm just introducing the concepts and if you are keen you can then join our channel membership inner circle where i'll share more detailed technical analysis of parts charts in this chart itself we can see that the person is born on the day of young earth and he has that of the people oriented profile of friend if you remember when we look at a person's chart we usually look for do 7k iw and dw in their charts to determine if the person is basically more career minded looking at process orientation and implementation so you can see in this person's chart first we look at the natal chart is this person career minded looking at process as well as wealth yes because all the do 7k iw dw are present within their charts and usually if we look at a bounce chart itself whatever that's actually in the heavenly stem that's the top role here it's usually what people view you as but internally which may not generally be seen because in this case a lot of the dw's 70 do as well as dw is not shown at the top rung itself but this person is pretty career minded because the O7K is really about process, it's in there, that's usually also about recognition, power, money is important to them as well. 
So when does it become more important? You can then see that this person where I actually boxed up in the blue boxes, these are the periods of their life where it is crucial. So if a person were to ask me, would they be working till pretty old or at least be either gainfully employed or doing something of their own to process and not necessarily want to enjoy life, I will look at these four things. DO7K, IW, DW, and you can see that all the way to even the 60s, 70s, this person is still there. Now, but you also notice that in the 10 year old luck cycle and 20 year old luck cycle, you also see DO and 7K, but the person is still pretty young. So, what does it mean? Generally, it means that usually during that period of time, especially if the DO and 7K is favorable for the person then usually they may be looking at following the steps within the education system trying to gain recognition or manage multiple projects because they have cca and they have their school work to manage as well so that's one way of looking at your bar to chart as to whether the person is career-minded when they change job here like for example at the age of 50 likelihood uh, there's recognition for them there may be a change of job for them or change increase in responsibility for them as well before we go on to clashes i would like to talk about combinations now combinations within our chart can bring about an increase in a particular element within our chart. By having that increase in element, depending on whether the element is favorable or unfavorable, it will mean a certain kind of movement or it will mean the perception of how you deal with certain people or certain situations at work as well as your mindset. Self-awareness, perception of the world, it's really about mindset, right? If you are in a positive mindset frame, that means most times maybe the element is favorable for you, therefore you'll be positive mindset. And if basically if your mindset takes a downturn, maybe negative, especially when you have an increase in metal and water elements within your chart, then it may go downwards. But at the end of the day, it depends on whether the element is favorable or unfavorable for you. And when we look at combinations, especially the tri-union combinations, we normally look at the four cardinal animals. What do you mean by for the four cardinal animals? That means the animal horoscope sign that's situated within the north, east, west, and south. So the red basically is within the north palace and it has a combination with both the monkey and the dragon. And these three animals form what we call the water union. If you have a combination of red, monkey, and dragon within your chart, then it's a full tri-union combination of water. It can also form between the chart as well as your luck cycle, which I'll show in an example later on. Then you have the wood combination, which is the combination of the rabbit, the goat, and the pig. And the fire combination, which is that of the tiger, the horse, which is in the south cardinal sector or palace, and the dog. Finally, we have the metal union combination, which is made up of the rooster, which is in the west, and the snake and ox. So generally, these are the four elements of the tri-union combination. Let's look at it from a chart perspective. This person, if you remember earlier on, the dragon, the red and monkey forms the water union. However, in this chart itself, within his master chart, he does not have the red as well as monkey, but he only has the dragon within the person's chart. Now here, if you look at the 40th luck cycle itself there is the dragon combining with the red to form water so when you have the dragon and the red forming water especially it means well for this particular person's chart most times water will bring about movement so it could be that this person will have additional opportunities in terms of wealth somebody calling 
him up especially from a headhunter perspective and therefore there will be wealth related opportunities whether is it from a starting business perspective or a career perspective so that's one way of looking at it we put the 12 animal branches within their directions itself as you can see from here basically the elements that are clashing is their water and horse clash the ox and the goat clash so for this year because this year is the year of the ox those who have the goats especially in the month branch you will experience likely a change in your career change in your boss change in department or change in your thinking and mindset in another episode i share about the clashes you can basically refer to the video that i'm clicking here to look at all the clashes here so we have the red clashing with horse which is a water and fire clash the ox and goat which is actually just the earth clash itself the tiger and monkey which is the wood and metal clash the rabbit and rooster which is the wood and metal clash the dragon and dog which is also earth earth clash and snake and pig which is again fire and water clashes now let's take a look at it from a chart perspective this person is born in the month of the dragon then in the 60th luck cycle this person will be going through the luck cycle of the dog so if you remember in the previous chart the dragon and the dog clashes so at this particular point in time because the clash means a change number one either of job two the mindset in terms of career three there may be lots of changes in the person's immediate work department or bosses then depending on whether the element is favorable or unfavorable for the person the person may perceive the situation to be positive or negative and then the person will take the necessary steps or action to decide whether there will be a change of job role or career this is the end of this episode thank you for taking your time to watch this video i see you next week and goodbye